Uh, this is Peyton Hatch, and, and today I'm going to show you how to take a coordinate system and put it onto your Leica Captivate data collector. And I'm going to get these coordinate systems from Infinity. Now, if you don't have them on Infinity, you can get them from another data collector or someone can send them to you. However, I do highly recommend having Infinity. So if you go here to your tools, open up any Infinity. You do not need to be in a project. You can go to tools and go to coordinate systems. So these are the list of coordinate systems that I already have downloaded into my Infinity. Now, if there's something, if you need something additional, say any state plane, you can go to your localized tool right here. And this will browse out to the, the Leica database where we have all of the coordinate systems for almost the entire world. So here on global, if I open up coordinate systems, you can see there was, there was 137 of them. And I can open this up and I can get all my UTNs. These are global data, data coordinate, global coordinate systems. And if you scroll down, you can open up USA. You can open up, say, South. And I can say I wanted uh, the Oklahoma coordinate systems. If I hit this checkbox right here, it's going to grab all fifth, all 10 of them. And I probably don't want all 10 because a lot of them are the exact same coordinate system. It's just which geoid is automatically applied. So you can see Oklahoma North 27, Oklahoma North 83, NAT 83, and then multiple Oklahoma Norths. They're all the exact same coordinate system. It's just which geoid is applied to it. So if I wanted the 18s, I can grab those and I can hit start. Now, I've already done this. So you see when I hit start, it's going to say no data imported. Data already exists. So... Yeah, I already have those and I can go get others. And there's also the appropriate geoid models. So I could go grab the geoids individually or separately. If you download a coordinate system from here that has the geoid listed, the, the geoid file will automatically also import. So I'll X close out of this and I'll say right here, Oklahoma North, NAT 83, so GRS 80. I scroll over here, I will have a geoid automatically applied so oklahoma geoid 18. now if i want to get these out of my infinity and into my captivate controller i could send these one at a time i think that would be silly so i'll just grab my oklahoma north let's say i wanted to send all of these coordinate systems even the texas you see there's quite a few geoids there i can highlight all of them in one and go export and the leica coordinate file is a trf set so I'll go right here to my desktop initially, TRF set, so you can see the coordinate system, .dat. These are all the other file options we have. So I'll do the TRF set and I will hit save. And this will export those out to my desktop. Now here on my desktop, I have the 12B geoid, the Texas 09, the Texas geoid 18. I've got the Oklahoma, the 09, the 12, and then I've got one TRF set file right here, TRF set .dat. And the reason I've got so many geoid files is I grab the 12B, the 09, the 18 for Oklahoma, and then the same for Texas. And so I had to send out all the individual geoid field files for those different coordinate systems, but it combined the actual coordinate systems into one single file. This one single TRF set contains all of those geoid field files. Or all, sorry, this one TRF set contains all of those coordinate systems. And you do have the individual gem files. Now, how do you get them into your data collector? So on an SD card or on a USB stick, we'll simulate an SD card. This is the file structure. The DBX, this is where you're going to put the TRF set. This is where you're going to put the coordinate system. So let's go right here. So the TRF set, all the coordinate systems all housed in one, they go right here. Your geoid files, they go in data, GPS, geoid. And I can grab all these geoid field files and I can put them right here. I'll replace the field one. I already had one in there. And if you're trying to go back to NAD27, you do have the CSCS model that goes over and there is a slot right here under data, GPS, CSCS that I can put that model right there. So these are all on an SD card. So minus this out, and we will open up our data collector. For me, this will be the simulator for my CS20. Maybe. There we go. It's going to load up here now. So here is my Captivate controller. 
So how do we get them now from the SD card onto your controller or the USB stick onto your controller? You go to Settings, Tools, Transfer User Objects. And what do you want to transfer? Well, I've got the one CSCS model. So from SD card to internal, I can press OK. Successfully transferred. Do you wish to transfer more objects? Yes. I can go grab the geoid field files. And these are all the field files on that CS SD card. Now, I don't want to do them all at once, so I can hit this one checkbox, transfer all objects, and press OK. It already exists, so I'll just say, do you wish to transfer more objects? Yes. And now I'll go grab the coordinate systems. Boom, SD card. I want to transfer them all as well. There we go. No more transferring. So now when I go to my job properties and coordinate systems, I have all the coordinate systems, including all the Oklahoma. And the geoids will automatically be applied. So I, right here at Texas North Central, I can edit this. That geoid model is also there by default, um, just because it was there was essentially a link there in infinity when you sent it out. So it, it's looking for that same geoid field file in the Captivate. And as long as you've imported the geoid field file, it will automatically find it. So I hope that was helpful for everyone. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.